Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. As we watch Roland Garros, we kind of start thinking about the best moments we've seen in finals on the Terre Battue. There sure have been a lot of really good ones, so we thought we'd give you our top five. Number five, 2017, the women's singles final. Ostapenko beats Halep 4-6, 6-4, 6-3, in one of the most dramatic finals in Roland Garros history, Yelena Ostapenko became the first player from Latvia to win a Grand Slam tournament and the first unseeded player to win the French Open since, get this, 1933. And boy, did she do it with style. Coming back from a set and 3-0 down with some of the most daring tennis Paris has ever seen. Number four, 2001. Capriotti defeats Kleisters, 1-6, 6-4, 12-10. Capriotti won a riveting battle to take down Kim Kleisters in the longest final in terms of games in the history of French Open women's finals. It was the Americans' first and only Roland Garros crown and one of the most epic finals in French Open history. Number three, the 2009 men's singles final. Federer defeats Soderling, 6-1, 7-6, 6-4. The moment that Roger Federer tied Pete Sampras on the all-time Grand Slam list and captured the career Grand Slam in Paris. It was a magical, blustery day in Paris, and Roger Federer played a perfect match to knock off the Arnery Soderling in straight sets. Though the match wasn't close on the scoreboard, let us not forget how Federer hammered four consecutive aces in the second set tiebreaker in the most pivotal moment of that match. But the celebration was really the most magical moment of the day as Roger let his emotions flow. Number two, the 2016 men's final. Djokovic defeats Murray, 3-6, 6-1, 6-2, 6-4. One year after losing in the final to Stan Wawrinka and receiving one of the most heartfelt applauses ever given to a runner-up at Roland Garros, Novak Djokovic was back, and this time as the champion. The Serb ended his long wait by defeating his longtime rival Andy Murray in the final and honored the great Guga Kirtan by drawing a heart in the clay after the match. He became the first male player since Rod Laver in 1969 to hold all four major titles at the same time. And finally, number one, 2017. Nadal defeats Wawrinka, 6-2, 6-3, 6-1. No Roland Garros list would be complete without a man named Rafa at the top, of course. So let's look at one of Nadal's more recent and most magical moments in Paris. The day that Nadal confirmed La Decima and won his remarkable 10th Roland Garros title. It was a magical moment in the sterling career of the greatest clay quarter to ever live and more proof that even into his 30s, Rafa still had the game to dominate all comers. Rafa was simply too good once again in Paris. So there are our top five Roland Garros final moments since the turn of the century. What do you think about our list? Did we get it right? As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and thanks for watching Tennis Now. We'll see you next time.